Well, it didn't take that long. I mean... Then again, I have been streaming for almost three hours now. Hmm. Yeah, man. We'll, we'll hang. Well, you'll hang. I'll be, I'll be, uh, helping myself to your fridge, I guess. <laughs> All right. So I guess we gotta we gotta write a poem again. <laughs> so I'm interested to see if like the Sayori words disappear as well. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Um, yeah. Things I like about Papa. I like when Papa comes home early. I like when Papa cooks me dinner. I like when he gives me allowance, spends time with me, asks me about my friends, asks me about anything. Gives me lunch money. Comes home before sundown. Cooks. Gives me privacy. Doesn't tell me how to dress. Doesn't comment on my friends. Doesn't comment about my hobbies. Comes home without waking me up. Keeps food in his house. Uses his inside voice. Leaves my stuff alone. Accidentally drops coins in the couch. He's too tired to notice me. He's too tired for anything. I like when Papa's too tired for anything. Anyway, I want to see Natsuki's scenes this time around, so, uh... Oops, wrong one. Huh. I guess, uh... Sayori's words get transferred to, uh, Yuri sometimes. That's interesting. Oops. Yeah, so it ends up being a bit harder to tell sometimes. Because you want her dead? Um... I want her dead... No, I, I I want Yuri less likely to be dead than Natsuki, but... Oh, I hope... Oh, now I feel bad because... Oh god, are they... They're all gonna die, and it's gonna be... It's gonna be... Ugh. Hello again, Makoto. We're back at the Literature Club. And we still get these weird-ass glitches from time to time. It's really, this is, yeah, this, this actually is really impressive, and I am enjoying what's going on here, but, uh, and now we've got Monica popping over the uh, text box here, like, what the hell is even going on here? Popular girl is clearly up to something. Yeah, there's probably a reason why we have to go on her route last. She's trying to find her... what? Judge a book. 
My stream's dead. Oh, I dropped a few frames. Huh. Yeah, that has been because I've been streaming for a while. Am I, like, dead dead, or just... Dead forever. <laughs> oh man, it's Magical Girl Manga. Apparently she doesn't have friends. I guess that's not really a surprise, but still. <laughs> My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. What? At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. What the fuck is this thing? Um. <laughs> I'm gonna finish up this scene. I think I'm gonna call it for today. I mean. <laughs> yeah. This, this is a lot to process. What the fuck? She's not okay at all. Alright, let's go share some poems. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. <laughs> Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. <laughs> Yours was really bad. You're supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha, well, it's not great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, she totally likes you. She freaking wants you. <laughs> and it's the same poem. Good old eagles can fly. Just be honest. Welcome back, Lots. Uh, basically, we, we read some of her manga, and uh, we're sharing poems again. Oh, that's weird. No, that, that definitely didn't happen in the game. Like, I've dropped, like, 90 frames since we've uh, started this, which is almost nothing, but still. That's, that's about it. Anyway, since everyone has the same poems as before, these scenes haven't changed very much from the looks of it. Yuri doesn't like it because...
because we don't have uh, emotion in it. Anyway, she has the same poem as well. Let's see if we get any more random ass glitches like uh, we did with when we were reading Mongo with Natsuki. I doubt it though. Keep a snack on you. Doesn't give her lunch money or leaves her any food. I'm trying to look at the bright side. That sounds like abuse. Fuck. Wait, this poem's actually different. This is this is like a second part to her poem. That's interesting. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears? The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I branch my pen. And she offers the same advice as before. And even this criticism is uh, the same, but now we don't have Sayori to uh, mediate. That's interesting. Let's see what happens. Wanna be edgy, bitch. That's new. What? Yeah. This is new. My bad, you already do, don't you? Yeah, this weirdness is definitely part of the game. Oh, crap. What? <laughs> 